Hello everyone, I'm back in Fallout 4 and I'm working on a build that is based around two things that I've never done before, so I'm pretty excited. Also, it's my birthday today. I feel like the hats and maybe the lights in the background kind of gave it away. Or maybe even my cheery expression, you know? I mean, this face just screams happy birthday. All right, so I've never built at the Boston airport and I've never really done a Brotherhood of Steel build. Well, unless you count the prison that I did like a couple years ago, but really that was just me wanting to build a prison and I just slapped a Brotherhood of Steel flag on it and called it a day. But lately you guys have been asking me to do some kind of Brotherhood build and I've had this idea at the Boston airport for a little while now, so I decided to build it. Basically, I wanted to make it look like their Brotherhood is rebuilding the airport to turn into their main base. I wanted this to be an in-progress build, you know, to look like they're building it up but they're not quite done yet. Like we see all these support beams because they haven't built up the walls around them. So it's kind of like a construction site, but they're already using it as a base because they're impatient sons of bitches. And by the way, I got a lot of inspiration for this structure from a container settlement that was built by a YouTuber called Cordless VII. He seems like a decent guy. You should probably go leave a like, subscribe to his channel, maybe say happy birthday, whatever. He doesn't seem picky. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the place and talk about a few ideas that I had for it. And then I'm going to show you how to get started with this kind of build. For those of you who are new to my channel, I normally do two videos per build. The first one is on the structures like this one, and the second one is on the finished product to where it's all decorated. So for this one, I'm obviously just getting started with it. Okay, it's not done yet. I just want to make a video on it to prove to you guys that I'm actually working on something. So again, this is going to be like a half construction area and then half of a base. So it's kind of like a mixture of both. But the construction part of it is going to be kind of like on the back burner where they're just waiting for more materials or whatever. So I'm going to have like a bar over here. Maybe on this side, I'm going to have some vendors or something. So it's still a settlement. It still functions as a settlement, but they're building it up as they can. The second level is going to be like their workshop area. So there's going to be a lot of power armor stations here. Maybe they're repairing some vehicles on the other side which doesn't make a lot of sense because how could vehicles get up here? Okay, so I'm still working this out, okay? I'll figure it out. But right here, this little middle section where the chairs are, that's gonna be a big conference room and control room. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in there. And the third level is gonna be the main living area, like the barracks, maybe? Because I think these little sections could work perfectly, like a living area here, here, here. So I could like section these off with walls and make like my own little rooms up here. And I figured it'd be a good idea because this is high up, so it's very protected. But also, Listen to this. You can kind of hear the ocean, which I thought was pretty damn peaceful, you know? So I got like the, the luxury barracks on this side, oceanfront view, <laughs> and on this side is gonna be the parking lot view for like lower ranking officials or, or something. I'm figuring out, okay? And the last level is the roof, and I had to put in a vertebrate because it looks so good. I wanna finish it up and make it look really nice up here, but uh, I, I don't know how structurally sound this is. I mean, to me it looks good, but there might be some architect following me like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. You don't got enough beams to support the vertebrae, let alone the helipad, and you're gonna kill everybody. But you know, I don't care. Okay, so it's gonna stay either way. I think it looks good. All right, so this started out as just an idea, and I didn't commit to the build until I was on the second level, and by then, it was just too late to like tear it all the way down. Like I could not be asked to start this all over again and then record myself building it. So I'm gonna try my hardest to explain how to get started with this build, like where to line everything up, and once you get that down, everything else pretty much falls into place. So we're gonna start off by using this scaffolding frame. We're gonna use it for the entire area. So this is the only one that you're gonna to need to worry about. And you wanna line it up with this end of the rug. This rug should already be here. And it's, this is like the hardest part because you gotta make sure that it's pretty straight because this is gonna determine how straight the rest of the structure is going to be. All right, so that looks good. That looks good. And it's good to like highlight the rug if you can. That way you can get a better idea of where everything is. And that looks pretty solid. I'm not gonna worry about it too much because I'm just showing you guys how to do this. So you get that in there and then you snap in the rest of these all the way around and it should eventually meet to this edge. Come on. Okay, fine, fine. Anyway, so you snap that out and it gets to this edge and then you just turn it and come this way. And then you just keep snapping out until you get to the back wall over here. And if you do it right, it should be flush with this back wall. Nothing's clipping into it. And see how this is? It's like flush with this back wall. It's not really inside of the wall. And same thing for this side. So yeah, 
just like that. And this is how you know that it's done right and lined up properly because nothing's kind of off center and it's just lined up against that back wall. So once you got the bottom level done, you just use those same pieces and then do the second and then the third. So you should have three levels of this same piece snapped all the way around three levels up. All right, so I scrapped a bunch of stuff just to give you guys an idea of what you should be working with. So this is the base, and now what we want to do is get the frame on the outside. I use the support beams, or industrial frames rather, from USO, but you can also get them from Workshop Rearranged, or even a few other mods that have these same pieces. But these don't snap to the scaffolding, so we have to fix that. An easy way to do it is just get out a wood floor, because this will snap to the scaffolding. So we snap it on the outside, just like so. And then we're going to snap another wood floor to the other wood floor. So just like that. And now we remove the other one. And now the industrial beam will actually snap to the wood floor. So that's how we can get this in and make sure that it's straight. It's just a lot easier than doing this manually. Let's go back over here. And then it just should pop right in to the bottom of the wood floor. So now we can just remove this. And what you want to do is you kind of want to inch it out a little bit because it's kind of clipping into... The scaffolding so we can pick it up and do this manually or if you're on the pc and you're using place everywhere just hit nine on the number pad and it will just kind of push it away from you just like so and you just want to make sure you have enough space between this and the scaffolding and so once that's in the other ones will snap right to it and then you just want to do the same thing just snap these all the way around just like you did with the scaffolding and then all the way up now the last little bit that I want to show you is getting in the elevator because the elevator is what helped me get in the rest of these floors. So the elevator is going to go right here with this rug. It's going to be perfectly aligned with this rug. That's the goal. And all you have to do is snap in a half floor piece to the scaffolding and then another one on the outside of that. And I'm just going to remove this one in the middle. So basically this floor piece should be aligned with the edge of the rug. And it is. And now we just need to remove the scaffoldings because this is where the elevator is going to go. All right, where the hell is the... Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's the elevator. I already got this one out. And it's just going to snap to that half floor piece. Just like so. And now you'll see that it's perfectly aligned with the rug below it. Like, it's, it's pretty damn close. And so I use the elevator to snap in the rest of my floors. And I mainly use catwalks from the Kuro tab. This is available on Xbox and PC. And underneath the metal retextures we have these catwalks and they work great they snap perfectly and so i use them for about 99 percent of my floors all the way around and i think they look great but that's all i have for the build i hope that gave you guys at least a good starting point if you get those parts down that i showed you everything else should be pretty simple but if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and i will try to answer them in the next video and i'm going to be doing build reviews soon so if you have like any halloween style builds like a creepy house or a settlement or something like that it doesn't have to be too halloween ish but just something creepy you can send them my way on uh, instagram twitter or on my discord server i've already gotten a few and i'm really excited to show them off but thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.